properties of rational numbers. Rational numbers have some very interesting properties and the first property we are going to learn about is the trichotomy property. For any two rational numbers, only one of the following can be true. If there are two rational numbers, a, b belonging to the set of rational numbers, then either a is less than b, number two. Possibility is that a is equal to b, and the third possibility is that a is greater than b. As we know that rational number comes in many different flavors, like rational numbers could be integers. Let's take a look at integers. Integers. If we want to compare two integers, which one is smaller and which one is bigger, of course we draw them on the line of real numbers and number on the left is always if this is a number a and this is number b. If these are the two numbers and in this case a is on the left side of b then we say a is less than b. So any number which comes on the left on real number line is always smaller than the number on the right side. So if for example if we were to compare three okay place less than or equal to sign or greater than sign between the between the following pairs of numbers number one minus three and plus one number two minus four and minus three number three is zero okay minus one and zero and number four is one and five every time we want to compare and we need to place one of those three signs we are going to draw those numbers on the real line for our first pair if this is zero here where is minus three minus always goes on the left side so this would be minus one this would be minus two this would be minus three and on the the plus goes on the right side so plus one plus two and plus three which are the numbers we where is minus three minus three is right here and where is plus one plus one is right here so which one is on the left minus three is on the left so we say minus three is less than plus one and let's take a look on the second pair so this was number one and second pair is minus four and minus three where is minus four minus four on the real line will come right here and minus three will come right here already both of those which one is on the left side minus 4 is on the left side so minus 4 is less than minus 3 this is number 2 and number 3 is again minus 1 and 0 where is minus 1 right here and where is 0 that is right next to minus 1 so again minus 1 is on the left 
therefore we say minus 1 is less than 0 and the last one is 1 and 5 1 is right here and plus 5 we can extend this line to plus 4 and plus 5 so plus 1 is right here and plus 5 is right here so you can see that 1 is on the left side so number 4 1 is less than plus 5 if we were to take a look on 4 and minus 3 this time 4 is where locate these numbers on the on the uh, real line and uh, plus 4 is right here and minus 3 is right here so which one okay if you, we cannot alter the order order so if we want to place a four, sign between 4 and minus 3 4 is on the right of minus 3 so therefore 4 is greater than minus 3 and we're going to put this greater than sign this is how we decide and compare two integers next we have fractions fractions are also rational numbers so on fractions if we have to place the sign of greater than less than or equal to we have to compare the two fractions and we'll see which one is greater and which one is less let's say that you have 3 over 10 and 5 over 10 if that is the case then because the denominator are same so you are going to take a look on the numerators only what are the numerators one is 3 and the other one is 5 which one is greater 5 is greater so therefore we are going to place this sign because 3 is on the left hand side of 5 so therefore we will have the sign 3 by 10 is less than 5 by 10 or otherwise if uh, let's take uh, another example 7 over 18 and 6 over 18 now on the real line 7 comes on what side right side if 7 is on the right side then we place a greater than sign and uh, be in in both of these cases you uh, you can see that the denominators are are same now there is a little bit of uh, different method when you have numbers with different denominators for example 4 over 5 and 6 over 7 this time because the denominators are different so there is really no way of us knowing if 4 is on the left hand side of 6 so in this case first we have to make the denominator same okay and either we can make the denominator same or there is another way of writing this that if we multiply this number with this and this number with this and see 4 times 7 is what 28 and 5 times 6 is 30 so which one is less 28 is always on the left side and 30 is on the right side on the real line so therefore we we place this sign and if this is the sign the same sign will go right here as well so our answer would be that 4 by 5 is less than 6 over 7 third kind of rational numbers which we which we have already discussed in the previous lesson are the recurring decimals recurring decimals recurring decimals we just take for example 
four, three, six, one, and three point four, four, six, one. These are recurring decimals, and if we write them, why they are called recurring? Because this group four, three, six, one repeats itself over and over again. So this is three point four. Three six one four three six one and it will go on. And this number three point four four six one four four six one. Again, we just need to find out which number on the real line comes on the right side and which one comes on the left side, but in this case, we can compare what is the unit digit here. Unit digit is 3 here and unit digit is 3 here. So the unit digit is same. Let's take a look at the tenth digit. It's 4 here and 4 here. So far they are equal. It's 3 here, the hundredth digit and the hundredth digit on this side is this. So which one is this three is obviously less than four. This means that three will come on the left and four will come on the right. So therefore we can comfortably place this less than sign comparing unit digit with unit digit equal and comparing 10th digit with 10th digit, same. If we compare 100th with 100th, three in the left side is 100th digit in this, and on the other side it's four. Therefore, we can decide that. So this is a comparison which you make from on the place value.